Hi, Kara Sheftel with BDS. I wanted to talk to you today about how to link your copier, your Kyocera, with a VNC viewer. Some of you had asked this on our YouTube channel, so I thought I'd do a quick tutorial today. All you need to do is start by entering in your IP address of your copier. This one is mine. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're gonna log in. My admin credentials for this tutorial are the default ones of capital A, lowercase d-m-i-n, admin, admin. Your credentials may have been changed by your IT provider or they may have been changed by your copier provider. That's something that you would wanna know in order to link in with a VNC viewer. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to management settings and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we find remote operation. We're gonna make sure that's enabled by turning it on. If you have to turn it on, then you would wanna hit submit at the bottom here in order to refresh that setting. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to network settings and we're gonna go down to protocol. There's a lot listed here. What we're looking for specifically is the VNC protocol. And there's two here, there's over SSL and just regular unsecured. And the port that we're going to use is 9062. We're gonna switch that on, switch that on, and then again, it hits submit. This will again, refresh those settings. After you've done that, we're gonna to wanna to open our VNC viewer. So uh, this is what I am using. As you can see, I'm gonna just delete this one so that we don't get a conflict. Okay, as you can see, I have linked a lot of copiers here. I'm gonna link mine right now. I'm gonna do new connection by right clicking and I'm going to put in my IP address right here. The next thing that you have to add is a colon and then the port number, which is 9062. Perfect. And if you're working on a fleet and you think that you're going to go in to this device over and over again, you may want to name it. I like to name mine because I do uh, switch up my VNC viewing a lot. And now I have it configured, but I've never connected. So what I'm going to do right now is hit right click, connect, and now it's going to talk to my device and here is the screen. I can see everything that my end users can see on the panel, and I'm able to do things like create quick keys and operate the panel remotely. For more information about your Kyocera copiers, you can reach us at www.bdsdoc.com or you can like and follow this channel. If this was something that was helpful for you, please uh, drop a comment in. And if there's anything else you'd like to know, add that comment as well, and we'll make videos for you as needed. Thank you so much and have an excellent day.